All right, happy Friday, everyone. We have finally made it to the end of the week, and it's looking like we are going to see a pretty cold weekend on tap. Temperatures will stay below average for us, and we're going to drop down to the mid 30s tonight into early Saturday. A little bit colder start by Sunday morning, and then by Monday, that appears to be a frigid start the next week. 26 degrees waking up early Monday morning. So over the next three days, we are just gradually going to see our temperatures just kind of drop off the table. They'll warm up slightly. I say warm up, but not really warm up too much. 35 by next Tuesday morning and then kind of st staying steady in the mid 30s uh, next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That strong front will show up late next week and drop off our temperatures again by next Friday. As far as rain chances go, we're staying nice and dry through the weekend. So if you have outdoor plans, maybe you still got to get those last minute uh, gifts ready for this weekend. We are expecting dry conditions, but it is going to be pretty cold out there. Current temperatures across the region are in the mid 40s for a lot of us. We're at 43 at Bushfield, 45 in Aiken, a little bit cooler up in Wilkes County, Washington. You're at 42 and then Edgefield here at 42 as well. By tomorrow morning, waking up mid 30s across the board. It should be a, a very cold start, but we are going to notice a little bit different scenario tomorrow. We saw a lot of, a lot of blue sky out there today. We're going to see a good bit more of cloud cover show up on Saturday. This is going to be thanks to a weak front moving through, not expecting any rain with this. It will likely look like it's going to rain at some points during the day Saturday, just thanks to those overcast skies, but no rain the forecast this weekend. We'll get a little bit breezy. We saw some good gusts out there earlier this afternoon and winds will pick up tomorrow, mainly after lunchtime. West winds anywhere from around 10 to 15 miles an hour and then looking to be a little bit calmer as far as winds go by Sunday. Now, Sunday morning is going to be colder than tomorrow morning. We should actually see temperatures near, if not even a little bit below freezing for the first part of our Sunday. So heading off to church, make sure you got the warm clothes on. It definitely will be a, a morning to where we need a couple layers out there. And then high temperatures will only reach the low 50s by Sunday afternoon, and that's with sunshine returning. So sunny skies expected most of our Sunday, but not going to warm us up too much. We should stay about 10 degrees below average by the second half of the weekend. Now, as far as rain chances go, once again, we're dry through at least Monday early next week. Our next system is going to show up Tuesday into Wednesday and likely will continue even some rain chances by next Thursday. And then the big front shows up. So that's what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, mentioning the S word, not looking like a slam dunk by any means, folks. Uh, definitely don't want to get your hopes up that we do see uh, any of the uh, the snowflakes out there next week. There's a chance, but still very low. Now here's a look at our two models for Tuesday's rain chances. Most of them uh, just kind of seeing a good agreement between our two long range models, and they're both agreeing that we're not necessarily going to see a ton of rain Tuesday, just kind of some light shower activity, mainly rain totals less than a quarter of an inch, but really can't rule out a passing shower or two throughout the day on Tuesday. So kind of morning time and even afternoon chances for maybe a brief light shower, but nothing that looks overly heavy for us. So the cloud cover will be moving in tomorrow. Here's just kind of a look at it hour by hour for you. Looking at the European model, this is thanks to this low level trough that will basically act like a weak cold front. That's what's going to drop our temperatures for the second half of the weekend and why it will be colder on Sunday compared to Saturday. But we are back to sunshine across the southeast on Sunday afternoon. Into Monday, our next little system shows up. Um, we are going to stay dry Monday, but starting to notice a few more clouds later into the afternoon. And then there you go. This is going to be our area of low pressure that just kind of tracks towards our south and then gets off the Carolina coastline. So most of these rain chances should be in the central and southern CS array. That appears to be where the highest rain chances will be, but really anywhere in the river region could see a passing shower at some point Tuesday. Now the system is basically going to start forming off the coastline. That's where that area of low pressure is going to start to develop. So that's what's keeping maybe the chance for a passing shower Wednesday, looking more likely Thursday, and that's when it's going to get kicked along by that stronger cold front. And that's what's going to drop our temperatures late next week, uh, much more than what we're seeing this weekend. So next weekend for Christmas, we're talking morning temps in the 20s and afternoon high temperatures only reaching near 40 degrees. So definitely a significant cold, uh, cool down and why we have about an 80% chance of seeing temperatures cooler than normal for Christmas weekend next week. So this is our six to 10 day outlook. This starts basically next uh, Thursday, goes until next uh, Monday or the Monday after Christmas. And you can see it's not just us, it's really gonna be the central and Eastern US. This is gonna be thanks to just a big dip in our jet stream 
providing us pretty good confidence that our temperatures are going to be well below normal. So for Christmas, on Christmas Day, we're actually looking at a forecast high temperature of only 40 degrees. That's 35 degrees cooler than what it was last year. It was a very warm Christmas last year in 2021. But if you go back two years to 2020, we saw a high temperature of only 41 Christmas Day. So kind of just doing, uh, depending on the year, uh, really changes up and down for us here in the river region. And actually 2020, we did have a trace of snow reported in Augusta. So kind of looking similar as we head into this year, not necessarily for the chance of snow, but definitely uh, some cold temperatures out there for us to deal with. And even past Christmas time, so this is the eight to 14 day outlook, looking like another decent chance to see temperatures below normal. So this cold snap is not just going to be for a couple days. This could actually last for a couple weeks across the region. So we are going to say goodbye to warm temperatures for the foreseeable future, staying well below 60 for the next seven days. And once again, that stronger cold front will show up later next week. So it's uh, Thursday night is when that front basically sweeps east of us. And that's what's going to bring us a cold outlook Friday that will last all the way into next weekend. Now, if you're looking at the extended outlook in your uh, weather app, maybe the 10 day forecast, a lot of those apps are showing the chance maybe for some snow showers Thursday night into Friday morning. Very low chance, folks. The way this is looking at the moment, um, just not the right setup for us to really see a lot of snow. It is going to be very cold. Can we see a flake or two? Not ruled out, but definitely not looking like a significant snowstorm at the moment for us next week. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, though, and hope you have a great night and a good weekend. We'll see you again on News 12 at 11.